Good morning, Pastor Phyllis here from Failsafe Jail Ministries. Um, just a short message to you this morning. Wanted you to know um, that you're in our thoughts, you're in our prayers during this time of shut in. Um, many of you know that our Fredericksburg office is closed due to health and safety for our volunteers, our clients, our families. Um, but we wanted you to know that um, we still have a few services that we're able to operate, we're able to support some of your needs. We have the bread and food ministry that is still running. We have our adult support group the third Saturday of every month via teleconference. Uh, we have a prayer group on Facebook. It's a closed group. Just hit me up on Facebook and I can invite you to that group. We also have a team from the ministry side of the house that is reaching out to those that we have uh, contact information on just to see to their needs to encourage them during this time. If there is anything that we can't do, we also have a, t a team of individuals that are researching to make sure that we're up to date on all of the information that is coming out uh, that will be of use to those that that are in need. Um, but we want you to we want to invite you to join forces with us. There are many of you that have talents and skills that we don't have. Now remember over in um, Romans 12:4, it talks about uh, there are many functions but one body. So I believe not only as children of of God. Um, uh, we have that one body that we're all we all belong to, but even as just neighbors, as a community that live we are living here in America, we're still one body, and we have the interests of our neighbors, of our families, of even people we don't know. During this time, we must be aware, and we must help take care of each other. So I believe that your talent, your gift, your skills are important not only for you and your family, but to all of us. If you know of something, if there is something um, that you've been very creative with during this uh, time frame, and it's been very helpful to you, please contact me, share it with me. Um, anything that we can do during this time, just to show each other that we love you, that we want to encourage you, that we want to lend our strength to you, let's do that. Let's come together and join forces. I want to remind you also that we do have um, our men and women that are incarcerated that don't have visitation at this time that are uh, the volunteers that go in and do Bible studies and Sunday services. We are not allowed to go in. Of course, we understand because of health and safety concerns, but those individuals are, are there uh, without the outside that they're used to coming in. But we believe God that there are children of God that have been saved, not only before they went to jail, but since they've been in jail. And that those individuals are the walking light in the darkness. They're reaching out to those. So pray with me, believe with me that not one soul will be lost during this time frame. As a matter of fact, we're believing God that there are going to be a double portion poured out of the spirit poured out in that jail over at IRJ and others around the world, around the country, and that there is going to be an overwhelming amount of individuals that get saved while they're in jail, while there's no volunteers coming in. We believe God like that because he is a God that has showed out and showed up in, in when people have been in bond, bondage. I remember I was reading not too long ago, uh, Paul uh, writing to the Philippians and he, uh, 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 in, that, in that book itself, he was in bondage. He was in chains as he was writing those scriptures. And I, I thank God that no matter where we are, if we're in bondage or we just a people that God can use us any time, any place at his own discretion. And I'm believing him that he's doing that with our brothers and sisters while they're incarcerated, that they're reaching out to those in jail. And they're, they're, they're not even taking up the slack. No, we're not even going to use that word. Yet they're a mighty force going forth boldly as the light in the darkness. Believe that with me. Pray with me on that. Um, Again, we just wanted to keep in touch with you. 
We love you. Uh, we take that very seriously, what we, what we do here at Failsafe for not only the incarcerated, but for the families and for our communities. There should be some contact information um, uh, attached to this video, but I will give you our website uh, where you can reach out and contact us um, if nothing else works for you. And that, that information for our website is www.failsafe-era.org. You all be safe out there. Pay attention to the rules. Be obedient to the rules and continue to pray. Be encouraged. We love you.